technology iit bhu i welcome you sir uh, thanks thanks priyanka uh, he has done his post doctoral fellowship in university of illinois chicago usa and and massachusetts medical school usa dr sharma has achieved serb national post doctoral fellowship award and most prestigious dpt ramalinga swami fellowship from government of india dr sharma is currently his research work is on design and synthesis of dye indolyl methane analogs for anti cancer activity and bioluminescence based monitoring of tumor progression he has published more than 30 research articles i request you sir and uh, to please take over okay uh, thanks dr priyanka for nice introduction and uh, so i when i am trying to share my screen it is written that host disabled participant screen sharing so i'm doing that just wait for a minute okay so now you can share yeah, yeah okay so is it visible now My yes screen? yes okay so yeah uh so first of all thank you for this invitation uh, in this impact lecture series and uh, today topic of my presentation is bioluminescence imaging an innovative technology to monitor cancer and uh, just i will talk about in science so in science what we see we believe in that so what it will be if we see inside tissue and cell and monitor biological feature in real time so is there any tool which can help us to see inside this cell or can we use that tool to diagnose cancer so just before starting about bioluminescence imaging uh, i will tell how classical way for anti cancer assay so you grow your cancer cell in uh, labs then you inoculate in mice then that cancer cell grow in mice then you start your chemotherapy and then you the progress or growth of tumor for that you need to dissect mice so for this type of uh, experiment you need a lot of mice and it include uh, large amount of killing of mice so just think about industry here we are checking just one or two molecule but in industry there are many molecules they check for daily basis so there it is involve lot of killing of mice and it is not cost effective for them so uh, just a minute so is there any tool that without killing any mice can we see cancer cell or can we make cancer cell illuminate so before that i will start a a uh, term bioluminescence in your surrounding you see there are many creature which produce light when you go deep down in the sea you will see jellyfish they uh, gives light when you go to maldives beach or goa beach on the beach you will see some blue sparkles are there so this sparkle is because of this uh, insect which is called plankton it gives blue light and when you go to meghalaya region you will find glowing mushroom and the most common example of light emitting uh, species is firefly and you probably know by the name jugnu in your state so you see that uh, firefly gives light have you ever thought what kind of molecules or uh, things present in this kind of species why this uh, species gives light so i will tell you why this species gives light so when i take talk about firefly luciferin when i talk just about jugnu so there is a molecule present called luciferin and when it oxidized it gave this key intermediate and when comes from excited state to ground state it emit light in the wavelength region of 540 to 580 nanometer and similarly there are some marine luciferase 
and the concept is same that oxidation happens and when they come from excited state to ground state they gives light at around 460 to 490 nanometer so there are around 1000 species which gives light like that and they emit light in various wavelengths if you see the common feature present in all these molecules there is some donor group present then there is a conjugated system and then there is a acceptor system acceptor means electron withdrawing group and this donor is electron donating group so this is the uh, system present in every luminescent molecule if uh, any of this uh, system disturb like if you remove uh, donor from here and create some acceptor molecules here then fluorescence will not happen so this is the basic moiety present in each and every fluorescent molecule so now i will show you a little bit chemistry by which firefly luciferin gives a uh, light so this is the molecule d luciferin in presence of atp magnesium and this is the in luciferase so d luciferin bind on Luciferase enzyme, it gives you oxidized product which is called luciferyl AMP. And further, it gives you dioxytenone anion. And when occur release of carbon dioxide from this, this molecule from excited state to ground state uh, gives light in the range of 560 nanometer. So, can we use uh, this light for diagnose of uh, like uh, cancer in animals? So here I will tell you how we can use this light in detection of cancer. So these are cancer cells which we grow in our lab and we express these cancer cells with a gene which can produce luciferase enzyme. So now this cancer cell has luciferase enzyme and then we inoculate this expressed cancer cell in mice now the mice has this cancer cell which can produce luciferin, luciferase enzyme. Now we inject our luciferin molecule in the mice. This molecule will distribute all over the system of mice, but it will give light only at that place where luciferin enzymes are present. And that luciferase enzymes are present only in cancer cell. So only cancer cell will give light in whole mice. And uh, this is the like uh, imaging uh, tool we use here that is uh, in vivo imaging. So there in vivo imaging, there is a camera which gives, which capture this light and uh, they give the amount of light produced from this cancer cell. So here, what we can do now, we can give anti-cancer drug to this mice. If our anti-cancer drug is effective, and the size of cancer cell is getting reduced, then the light output also decrease. So by this way, you can detect cancer in mice without killing them. And you can use same mice for checking reoccurrence of cancer. Because we know that sometimes we treat cancer, but after a few years, it come back. So there occur reoccurrence of cancer. So you can use same mice to check for reoccurrence, but in classical way, when you kill the mice, you cannot check that reoccurrence of disease. And in this experiment, you just need only two mice. But in your classical way, you need a near about 60 to 100 mice to perform uh, anti-cancer assay on single molecule. So not only just we can detect tumor from this, we can detect pathogens, we can uh, regulate gene regulation, we can also check protein protein interaction so, so there is there are many benefits of uh, this bioluminescence imaging techniques i will show you with example so before that what should be the ideal property of fluorescent molecules so first is so now you can see that cancer cell is emitting light but on our body and tissue there are red blood cells present there are melanin pigment present and uh, luciferin emit light around 560 nanometer at this wavelength uh, red blood cell and uh, our melanin pigment absorb that light so in our lab we are working to improve the light emission in near infrared 
near infrared region is around 650 nanometer to 900 nanometer. At this wavelength, you can see that uh, penetration of light is very high. Okay, and uh, what another ideal fluorescent property is rapid molecular distribution. So when you inject your molecule, it need to distribute all over the body. And the third thing, it shouldn't be toxic. Okay, so we also check toxicity of our molecule, uh, whether it is biocompatible or not. And last thing is that it should be highly sensitive to detect anti-cancer, okay, uh, highly sensitive to detect cancer reason. Okay, because cancer cell in starting stage, in early stage, they are present in very small amount. So your fluorescent molecule should be very sensitive to detect that small amount of cancer cell. So now I will show you how we can use this uh, uh, imaging technique or uh, bioluminescence imaging technique to cancer target. So everyone knows in pharma field about pro-drug concept. So pro-drug is the inactive form of drug and what we will do in product, we just uh, uh, create some chemical species on drug molecule to be, make it inactive. But when this product reach to the active site, there that chemical species comes out and uh, your active drug molecule release. Same concept, we use it to design our fluorescent probes. So we just, so this is the light emitting luciferin molecule. Now we will add some species here at this position, which can block the light emission. Plus this species is uh, highly selective for cancer target. We know that cancer happens because of disbalance of some chemical species inside cell, or there is some expression of uh, high expression of some proteins or enzyme. So we selectively uh, create some chemical species at this position, which can bind to the cancer target, or you can say cancer biomar biomarkers. So now this molecule is, will not give light, okay? Only this molecule will give light when it bind to their selective targets. So this way we create probes. Now how it works? So now you created the probe, okay? Now, if it will bind with the luciferase enzyme, it will not give light, okay? Because there is some chemical species attached. We need to remove this chemical species before binding it with the luciferase. So this is the bioactive small molecules. Bioactive small molecules means uh, which are responsible for uh, cancers or enzymes which are also responsible for cancers or the enzymes present in cancer cells. So when this molecule bind with this enzyme or small molecule, your this black species will come out and your luciferin molecule will regenerate. Now this molecule will bind with luciferase enzyme and it will give you light. So the benefit of this is that you can detect what kind of biomolecules or car target responsible for uh, cancer. And another thing you can also quantify the uh, reasonable molecules because the number of enzyme molecules present will break down this chemical species. So it will be equal. So we can uh, finally calculate how much enzyme or bioactive small molecule present in the cancer cell by capturing the amount of lights coming out from cancer. So this is the way we create various kinds of probes. Now I will show you some example. So hypoxia is responsible for cancer. So whenever there is a deprivation of oxygen in cell, that is called hypoxia. And this hypoxia result in onset development of cancer. So the classical way to detect uh, this hypoxia was oxygen sensitive electrode, but that was invasive technique and it is gives inconsistent result. So what it will be if we create some probe which can detect hypoxia in cancer. So in hypoxia cancer, there is a enzyme nitro reductase. So whenever there is hypoxia occur in cancer cell, 
or some cell, expression of nitroreductase enzyme increase. So can we uh, uh, create some species which can bind to the nitro, uh, uh, we can, so can we create some nitro group in our luciferase molecule and this nitro group will reduce, uh, this nitro reductase will reduce nitro group to amine and amine is a donating group. So this is the way we created probe. So in d luciferin molecule, we synthesized the nitro group here. Now NTR will reduce this nitro group to amine and this amine is electron donating group. So now when this amino luciferin will bind to luciferase enzyme, it gives you lights. So you can detect hypoxia in cancer by detecting NTR. NTR means nitro reductase. So here we synthesized various kinds of probes. Like in probe one, there is nitro reductase will directly bind to nitro group and give amines. Here we created some linkers in between nitro group and amine. When your probe will bind on nitro reductase, this nitro group will reduce to amine. And then the moment of electron will start and these groups will come out. This is called self emulative groups, which comes out on their own, okay? So this will ultimately result amino luciferin. And now this amino luciferin will bind with luciferase and give you light. And another kind of probes we created like this, where there is a benzyl group present. So this nitro group reduced to amine and this self emulative groups will come out and it will give you uh, d luciferin molecule, which gives you light. So now we tested this molecule. 96 well plates. Okay. So we put our uh, probes in these wells and we put luciferase enzyme in this well. Then we start adding nitro reductase enzyme. So here you can see we didn't add any nitro reductase. But when we increase the concentration up to 5 microgram per of nitro reductase, then it start giving slide. So this means our probes are good enough to capture nitro reductase enzyme. So here you can see probe 3 is giving high amount of light. So when I created bar, you can see at 5 microgram level or concentration of nitro reductase, probe 3 is giving light. And we also check sensitivity for nitro reductase of our probe and probe three at 0 0.01, 0 0.001 microgram per ml easily nitro reductase. So you can see it's, it's sensitivity. So in early stage of cancer, our probes can detect or early diagnose of cancer. So by this way we create probes and study it toward various biomarker which are responsible for cancer so but here one problem come the thing is that when we talk about cancer cell there is not just just nitro reductase is present there are hundred or many biomolecules are present like nadh cysteine so uh, nadph ntr so we test for all kind of biomolecules. And we see that uh, when there is NADH, there is small amount of light our molecules give. Means our molecule also interacting with NADH. But when we compare NADH and NTR, nitro reductase, our molecule is highly selective, binding very efficiently with nitro reductase enzyme. So this kind of experiments we do to check that whether our probe is highly efficient for any kind of biomarker or not. So this is kind of very innovative technology. Here you are not killing any mice in small scale or in cost effective manner, you can detect whether your molecule is able to diagnose cancer. And further, you can take uh, this uh, uh, molecule to make some make uh, diagnostic kits and sell it market. So this is the way we work in our lab. And now if I talk about in vivo imaging, so here you can see 
we give this molecule to various mice. Now this there is a cancer cell and there is we create hypoxic condition. Now that cancer cell is producing nitroreductase in, in a large amount. So when we take imaging of this uh, uh, mice, this were giving this light. So up to 40 minutes, this was giving maximum light with our luciferin molecule. Now we give our uh, compound can selectively inhibit nitroreductase enzyme and that compound is dicomerol. So now when dicomerol will bind with the nitroreductase enzyme, so this compound will not give light. So you can see here is some yellow green fluorescent, but here you can not see any kind of light is coming out. So the graph is like that. This means that uh, first you can easily detect with your probe the light emission. And same time you can check your chemotherapy or chemotherapeutics for uh, cancer, okay, for anti-cancer activity. So this is the one example I showed for nitroreductase. But there are many, many biomarkers responsible for cancer. Like uh, there is beta galactoside marker and that is responsible for prostate cancers or ovarian cancer so can we detect beta galactose so we what we created we just uh, uh, made some galactose we created galactose molecule at donor position now this molecule will not gives light when it goes to cancer cell beta galactose enzyme will break down this galactose molecule it will release delucifering and finally, this deluciferin will bind with luciferase enzyme to give light. So we can capture the amount of light, tell us the how much uh, galactosidase enzymes are present in cancer cell. Okay. And similarly, who, the people working on uh, cancer molecule, they know caspase is also the biomarker by which you can detect cancer is present or not. So this is the molecule that is called pralanac. Kassan, okay, this selectively bind with caps, uh, caspase. So we attach this molecule on luciferin moiety. Okay, so now this molecule, when we give it to cancer cell, so caspase will break down this bond and release amino luciferin. So you can check amino luciferin content by capturing the light. So another are, these are the example I showed to you for the enzyme responsible for uh, cancer, but there are some uh, chemical species also present like hydrogen peroxide, radicals or oxygen, uh, superoxide, sorry, superoxide that are present in our cancer cell. And that are also responsible for other diseases like neurodegenerative disease. So what we create, we know in chemistry that whenever a peroxide bind with boronic acid moiety, this is boronic acid moiety. Whenever it bind with boronic acid moiety, it gives hydroxyl group. So we created this boronic acid moiety at the position of a deleuciferin. When peroxide went here, it will release this boronic acid part and created hydroxyl group here. And hydroxyl group is a, a don moiety and also this this is a self emulative part so this will come out and release luciferin and this luciferin will bind with luciferase enzyme to give you light so by this way you can also detect chemical species you can detect enzyme and another is l-cysteine molecule so we just synthesize this part and l-cysteine will bind at nitrile position and give you luciferin. So this will not give light, but this molecule will give light and we can detect L-cysteine present in cancer cell. So here I just told you about the application of uh, bioluminescence imaging in cancer, but you can detect microorganism, tuberculosis, or even you can check the purity of water in your college. So you know that in impure water, there are many chemical or sulfur species present. You can also check the uh, quality of water using creating this probe in your university water cooler, 
university your tap water or there are now uh, some projects are going on where uh, we check the purity of uh, river ganga by this kind of probes so there are huge huge applications of uh, the bioluminescence imaging currently uh, say japan and uh, europe are doing major work on this kind of thing and yeah of course china is working on this kind of project and few labs in india they are started this kind of uh, bioluminescence project and hope uh, soon in industry uh, industrial people will remove classical way of uh, cancer assay and they will start uh, this bli imaging technique because it is very cost effective and it doesn't involve any kind of uh, killing of animal cells so by this way i will conclude my uh, presentation here so bioluminescence technique or caged luciferins offer a innovative powerful and growing toolkit for tracking the activity of enzymes small molecules and metal ion in vivo and advances in molecular design molecular design means you are improving the uh, donating property of uh, deleuciferin molecules. So I already told you deleuciferin molecules gives light around 516 five, nanometer, but at that wavelength, uh, uh, our melanin pigment and red blood, red blood cells absorb light. So we are taking our molecule up to near infrared region. So this is yellow green region 560. We are taking up to near infrared region. So we are improving our molecule and also we are doing protein engineering. Protein engineering means we are creating mutation in luciferins enzyme so that it accumulate our various substituted luciferin molecule very well. So we are working on advanced molecular design and protein engineering. And this will bring new tool for understanding the complex and dynamic between molecules in physiological and uh, pathological concept. So here I will end my uh, presentation with thanks to convener Dr. Kumar Gora, Principal Guru Gobind Singh College of Pharmacy, and coordinator Dr. Ashni Kumar Dhingra, uh, Professor Guru Gobind Singh College of Pharmacy, and uh, also I am thankful to uh, Dr. Priyanka and invited me for this uh, uh, lecture and all the faculties and staff who are involved in uh, this uh, innovative lecture series uh, things. And finally, my thanks to Guru Gobind Singh College of Pharmacy where I did my B-Pharmacy. So this is the thing here, I stop my presentation. And if any person want to know, they can ask a question regarding this. Yeah. Hello. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. hi. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Deepak, for this uh, valuable talk for the bioluminescence imaging. Okay, yeah. Uh, and I think uh, this. Uh, uh, tool is uh, providing valuable, uh, you can say, uh, boon for the research in, in, in the field of cancer. Yeah. So uh, if there is any query from the participants, they can they may ask or uh, they can write down their question in the chat box. So there is one question on my side. Okay. Um, I just want to know that in which fields we can uh, uh, use this technique, like in cancer imaging, we can use bioluminescence. Then uh, you told about about the wastewater. Yes, yeah, so we can check water. Other than can... that, yes. Yeah, so uh, there are many neuro uh, degenerative disease. Where, so whenever their uh, disease occur in your neuron, that is because of some oxidative stress, and oxidative stress is by uh, they occur through superoxide is radicals or any kind of chemical species. So we can check that species or any kind of enzyme which are responsible for 
neurodegenerative disorder, you can just create that moiety in your uh, uh, fluorescent molecule and you can detect. Similarly, if you, if you want to perform uh, uh, antimicrobial assay, okay, uh, so currently we started working on tuberculosis and uh, there are many enzymes like NADH. Uh, metabolic enzyme in tuberculosis, which are uh, responsible for uh, creating resistance. So we are detecting also that uh, things. And the same time, I also told you can detect uh, industrial waste. You can check uh, waste present in uh, river. Or uh, I recently read one article that some person in China they detect uh, various kind of waste present in their uh, uh, university tap water. So you can use it for various applications, these techniques. Uh, sir, for one question from my side, uh, that uh, how we can detect a lung cancer and uh, a person which is suffering from tuberculosis? Both the symptoms related to tuberculosis as well as lung cancer is almost similar. Okay. So. Mild emissions in which yes. extent can help in the diagnosis of uh, cancer as well as tuberculosis? Yes. So I told that uh, the biomarker for uh, cancer and uh, tuberculosis will be different, right? So you can just give your species, chemical species, which can detect only specifically bind with that particular biomarker. By this way, you can detect cancer. And same time, you can give your chemical species which can selectively bind for tuberculosis. So this way you can differentiate between, okay, only whether cancer is present or tuberculosis is present, or both are present. And currently we use this technique only for preclinical studies. But recently one doctor in USA, he used this technique for cancer surgery. So what happened during cancer surgery? Uh, can I explain this thing? What he did, story about his uh, successful surgery. So what he did uh, when he was operating prostate cancer. So what doctor do during surgery? They check by their intuition, they check, okay, this is the size of cancer. And they perform surgery around that. But sometimes residual cancer cell remain in the person and that residual cancer cell grows later. So he did spray of this bioluminescent molecule and find, okay, there are some residual cancer cell distributed. So that he cut that area also and performed successful prostate cancer surgery. So regarding your question, yes, by creating various chemical species, we can particularly or selectively detect cancer as well as tuberculosis. Sir, there is one question in the chat box. Okay. Uh, that, uh, is there any human trial have been done or going, human trials are going on regarding this? Okay, yeah, I just gave one example that doctor in one year, there is one doctor in US, he did a, a surgery using fluorescence imaging technique. So what, uh, what he did uh, when he was doing prostate cancer surgery, so doctor just check, okay, there is cancer by their ex experience or intuition, they cut the area. And I said some residual cancer cell remains still. And later on that grow after two, three years. And uh, he did what he did during surgery, he also separated this uh, light emitting species. So now he saw in dark that, okay, this cancer cell is spreading somewhere also. So he cut that part also and performed successful surgery. So there is just one example happened. And this is a new technique and a innovative technique. And, and just, uh, it is about a five year back technique. So uh, people are working on that. Students or any other faculty members, if you have any questions, you may ask. So there is one question more that uh, there are uh, 
uh, it is written that what are the chances of survival regarding chances of survival for like uh, on the uh, either we talk about as the animal or human being on which we are conducting the trial okay so 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 just to our current applications preclinical stage where we check for effectiveness of uh, your chemical chemotherapeutics so it depend upon chemotherapy it is just a diagnostic technique it is not treatment technique it is just diagnostic so it's like that uh, you check your temperature with thermometer but you give medicines so here the technique you check cancer but your treatment agent is your uh, chemotherapeutic so it depend upon chemotherapy that uh, your survival rate for cancer okay thank you very much sir okay. now i would like to request dr ashwin bigra to please give vote of thanks please sir good morning everyone uh, with due respect i would like to express my sincere thanks towards our worthy speaker and one of our prominent alumni uh, dr deepak kumar for sharing his valuable talk on the topic bioluminescence and innovative technique for the detection of cancer so dr deepak has wonderfully discussed various aspects of cancer diagnosis including the process of bioluminescence key technique prototyping and especially application of bioluminescence in the detection of cancer which will help in the pharmaceutical research in the development of novel drug molecule without uh, harming the test species uh, it was a very informative session and uh, i think the lecture delivered by dr deepak provided a fruitful insight for the which uh, which will be benefit for all the participants a big thank to you dr deepak uh, for thank your you. efforts and uh, research in the uh, in the field of uh, cancer and in the development of uh, novel anti cancer molecule thank you sir thank you thank you dr ashwini thanks thanks for this should i leave or uh, dr rahul is presenting now um, i would like to introduce our se second speaker of the day that is dr rahul taneja he is also one of the alumni of our college and is working as scientist department of science and technology government of haryana panchkula as a scientist at the council for science and technology he facilitates the micro small and medium enterprises of haryana and chandigarh for ipr related issues his portfolio further includes dealing with patents including pct application trademarks including convention application designs he is also promoting and facilitating the research scholars doctors scientists for the protection of intellectual property rights and to protect their invention and innovation he has already delivered more than 250 specialized lectures in various national and international conferences and training programs on intellectual property rights in various institutions and industrial associations now i request you sir to be, please give us a brief about innovation and intellectual property rights and i welcome you sir
thank you dr prinka first of all i will i would like to thanks uh, dr kumar gorav principal guru gobind singh college of pharmacy my senior and my friend dr rashni dhingra my classmate dr prinka kriplani dr deepak kumar dr geeta other faculty members and dear students so i also would like to thanks ministry of education institution innovation council yesterday i had attended a meeting at chandigarh university regarding the improvement of institution innovation council in the northern region and i have given my suggestion to the councils that they can aware the people about the entrepreneurship and the intellectual property rights beside this they will also aware the students about entrepreneurship how to establish their own startup the basic legal requirements to start their own enterprises like how to start proprietorship firm how to start partnership firm and how to start private limited firm because the most of the students are not aware about the differences between these type of uh, statistics of our countries how to establish these type of things and even if we can talk about the pharmacy people the students are not aware about how they can start their own pharmacy shop what is the basic requirements is it mandatory to require a gst number or not because these are the basic things that every a, a pharmacist must know us about these things इंटेलेक्चुअल मीन्स क्रिएशन ऑफ ह्यूमन माइंड्स प्रॉपर्टी जो आपकी अपनी है राइट्स right उसके ऊपर अधिकार दिए जाते हैं इवन वी हैव ऑलरेडी हैविंग मेनी डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स बट नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द प्रोसीजर टू फास्ट एन यूर पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन टू द पेटेंट ऑफिस हाउ वी कैन एक्सपीडिएट अवर एप्लीकेशन टू द पेटेंट ऑफिस बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक फिनोमिना ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ राइट्स टेंजेबल राइट्स एंड इंटेंजेबल राइट्स tangible property like we have our own house own car we have specific type of rights we can't sell our product we can sell our products we can give on rent we can having ownership of one of our own products similarly we have intangible assets hamari soch and hamari creativity some are scientists some are painter some are designer some are musician some are technocrats koi poem likh raha hai koi kavita likh raha hai koi gana ga raha hai koi different type ki painting kar raha hai we can protect every aspects of intellectual property rights with the help of different parameters of ipr initially government of india is a signatory body of gat gat is the general agreement trade and tariff after that they have signed a gats general agreement of trade and services because there are two parameters trade and services so the world trade organization has combined the both the rules and they have established trips that is called trade related aspects of intellectual property rights and they have combined all the rules related to the intellectual assets and they have also signed the reciprocity of this type of acts means we have to treat every country with the same as the treatment given by the other countries means agar aap india mein patent file karte hain to aapko bhi same treatment milna chahiye jo aap kisi aur country mein patent file karte hain so government of india has also launched national ipr policy in 2016 with the title creative india innovative india rachnatmak bharat abhinav bharat how we can improvise our ipr in our country because we are very far behind as compared to other countries if we are comparing about the intellectual property rights how many patents filed in our state haryana do you know about it you have to think about ki hamare haryana pradesh mein kitne patent file hote hain what about the patent filing in punjab himachal uttar pradesh where we are lacking basically and how many patent filed by the ministry of uh, msmes how many patent filed by the universities colleges and institutions first one is the patent patent is an exclusive rights granted for an invention it can be a product or it can be a process kisi bhi product ko kisi bhi process ko hum protect kar sakte hain through the patent application you will get a monopoly rights for 20 years nobody can use your invention without your permission nobody can sell your invention without your permission even government of india is soon going to uh, launch industrial uh, utility patent because aapne dekha hoga bahut sare log australian patent upload kar rahe hain and uh, 
कंग्रेचुलेशन भी मिल रही है काफी सारी बिकॉज बट दैट इज नॉट एक्चुअली स्टैंडर्ड पेटेंट इट्स लाइक ए कॉन्फ्रेंस अगर आपने कोई पेपर पब्लिश किया या आप कोई कॉन्फ्रेंस अटेंड करते हैं आपको एक सर्टिफिकेट इशू होता है इट्स लाइक ए बिकॉज आप उसको कॉमर्शलाइज नहीं कर सकते उसकी कोई एग्जामिनेशन नहीं हुई है सो दिस इज जस्ट द अवेयरनेस हमारी एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन के प्रोफेसर को टीचर्स को ये समझना होगा वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडस्ट्रियल यूटिलिटी पेटेंट स्टैंडर्ड पेटेंट एंड द इंडस्ट्रियल डिजाइन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम पीपल गेट कंफ्यूज अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ पैरामीटर्स एंड वेन दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कमर्शलाइजेशन ऑफ देयर प्रोडक्ट बट दे डोंट हैव एनी राइट अगर आपने उसकी आउटर पीरियस पे प्रोडक्ट किया है तो आपको टेक्निकल फीचर पे राइट्स नहीं मिले हैं तो यू आर मस्ट अवेयर अबाउट सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक मान लीजिए आपने कोई शॉप खरीदी आपने उसको रेंट पे लिया तो आपके पास लिमिटेड राइट्स हैं बट अगर आपने उसको परचेज कर लिया देन यू हैव ए डिफरेंट राइट्स अगर आपने वो जो प्रॉपर्टी परचेज की है अगर आपने रेजिडेंशियल में लिया है देन यू हैव ए डिफरेंट राइट्स कमर्शियल पे लिया है देन यू हैव ए डिफरेंट राइट्स सिमिलरली लाइक वाइज इफ यू हैव ए स्टैंडर्ड पेटेंट देन यू हैव ए डिफरेंट राइट्स इफ यू हैव ए यूटिलिटी पेटेंट देन यू हैव ए डिफरेंट राइट्स As such, there is a no act in our country for the utility patent. But soon, this year, government of India will launch these type of patents in our country also. You will get a rights approximate seven to eight years for the utility patents. What is the criteria of patentability? There are three types criteria of patentability. If you want to understand the Patent Act, then you have to understand three parameters: novelty, non-obvious, and industrial applicability. Basic three parameters to understand the Patent Act. Novelty means As per the section two, L, your invention cannot be published anywhere in the world before the filing of the patent application. वो कहीं पर भी पढ़ी लिखी देखी सुनाई नहीं जानी चाहिए before the filing of the patent application. Most of the time paper get published. अब recently someone has called me right from uh, from some universities कि sir मेरा patent published हो गया है and हमारा कोई dispute हो गया है क्या हम उसको withdraw कर सकते हैं? Once the patent is published at the patent office website. Your patent cannot be withdrawn. Publish होने से पहले ही आप उसको विड्रॉ कर सकते हैं After patent publication आप उसको विड्रॉ नहीं कर सकते वो तो या surrender होगा या वो उसको आप examination के लिए proceed नहीं करें अब मिस यू मस्ट बी केयरफुल अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एप्लीकेंट एंड द इन्वेंटर द डिस्प्यूट डिस्प्यूट अराइजेज बिटवीन द एप्लीकेंट एंड द इन्वेंटर बिकॉज द राइट बिलोंग्स टू द ओनली टू द एप्लीकेंट नोट टू द इन्वेंटर अब जैसे आप पेपर लिखते हैं तो उसमें एक सीरियल्स सीरियल्स होते हैं कि फर्स्ट वाले कितने नंबर से सेकंड वाले कितने हैं थर्ड वाले कितने हैं बट इन द केस ऑफ द पेटेंट ऑल द पर्सन हैविंग ए इक्वल राइट्स दे हैविंग ए इक्वल राइट्स ऑफ द ओनरशिप अबाउट द पेटेंट राइट्स एंड द राइट्स बिलोंग्स टू द ओनली टू द एप्लीकेंट नो टू द इन्वेंटर इन्वेंटिव स्टेप योर इन्वेंशन मस्ट हैव सम इन्वेंटिव स्टेप मीन्स द इन्वेंशन मस्ट बी ए टेक्निकली एडवांस और मस्ट हैविंग कैपेबल ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेबिलिटी इफ यूर इन्वेंशन इज नॉट इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेबिलिटी देन यूर पेटेंट विल नॉट बी ग्रांटेड इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी एवरी इन्वेंशन एज एर इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेबिलिटी ये जरूरी नहीं है कि हर एक इन्वेंशन को इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेबिलिटी के लिए यूज किया जाएगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप कोई गैम्बलिंग मशीन बनाते हैं दैट इज नॉट ए इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेबिलिटी सो सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स कैन नॉट बी ग्रांटेड फॉर द पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन पेटेंट आर टेरिटोल राइट अगर आपने इंडिया में पेटेंट फाइल किया है then your right is limited only to the india but if you want to file the patent application outside the india then you can submit by two way either you can directly apply to that country or you can submit by the pct what is the pct pct is the patent cooperation treaty by which you can submit your patent application in multiple countries you have to select in which country you are going to file the patent application suppose if you are choosing a convention application procedure what is the convention application procedure is directly you can apply to that country सपोज अगर आपको अमेरिका में चाइना में कनाडा में पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन फाइल करने हैं तो आप कन्वेंशन एप्लीकेशन के थ्रू आपको हर एक कंट्री में प्रोसीजर को फॉलो करना पड़ेगा बट इन केस ऑफ पीसीडी यू हैव टू सबमिट ओनली सिंगल एप्लीकेशन आफ्टर डेट योर एप्लीकेशन इज एग्जामिन पब्लिश एंड आफ्टर डेट दे कैन प्रोसीड टू दर्टिकुलरली टू डेट कंट्री बट पीसीडी इज नॉट हैविंग ए ग्रांटिंग अथॉरिटी डेट इज जस्ट हेल्प यू फॉर दी further process of your patent application foreigner can also apply for the patent application patent or territorial rights agar aap india mein patent file karte hain then your rights is only limited to the india no to the outside the india for other countries you have to file for the different application there are four office on country if you want to file patent application for northern patent office delhi southern chennai western mumbai and rest of india kolkata how to submit a patent application you can submit by online mode 
you can submit by post you can submit by hand also it is not net it is not necessary you have to hire patent agent you can also submit your patent application to the patent office but you must know how to write a patent application and about the legal language of the patent document now we will talk about section 3 section 3 basically discuss about the exclusion of the patent act kis kis cheez ka patent nahi hoga patent office ne section 3 and 4 mein discuss kiya hai rest of the things can be filed for the patent application like frivolous invention and invention contrary to well established natural laws like that machine which gives more than 100% performance cannot be filed for the patent application perpetual machines cannot be filed for the patent application section 3b commercial exploitation or primary use of mention which cause serious prejudice to public order and morality like gambling machine device for house breaking such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application <coughs> mere discovery of scientific principle kisi bhi theory ka kisi bhi natural phenomena ka patent ke liye file nahi kar sakte because it's a theory and there is a lot of difference between theory discovery invention or innovation most of the time people get confused about the discovery and theory and after that if we are talking about the invention that is totally different before the, from the theory and the discovery formulation of an abstract theory cannot be filed for the patent application discovery of non living substance cannot be filed for the patent application ek vyakti ped ke niche baitha hai apple gir gaya such type of thing this is a phenomena this is a theory this is law such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application section 3d this is very important for the pharmaceutical uh, person because india mein jitne bhi pharmaceutical ke cases hote hain for specially for the patent application is cancelled by revoked by challenged by because of the section 3d and section 3e the mere discovery of a new form of a known substance which does not result in the enhancement of the known efficacy of that substance <coughs> means ek substance ke naye form ka ek aapne naya use develop kar diya and on the basis of new use patent will not be granted for example aapke paas same salt hai same ester hai and this is very important question because most of this question is asked by the pharmaceutical person ki aapne uska particle size change kar diya uski solubility enhance kar di aapne uski derivatives ko naye derivatives develop kar liya Until unless उसके अंदर therapeutic efficacy के अंदर changes नहीं आएंगे your patent will not be granted. And therapeutic efficacy is not defined in the Patent Act. Then how you can define the therapeutic efficacy? Therapeutic efficacy is defined in the form of function, quantity, and the <coughs> quality. So they must be different significantly in the form of efficacy. or must having a some synergistic effect like for example aapke paas ek tablet hai paracetamol ki aapne just uska new use well kar liya suppose if you are saying that paracetamol is now used for the diabetic patient if this is just an example and all the chemical process is same molecule is same everything is same you have to have just a new use on the basis of new use patent will not be granted because everything is same you have just developed a new use but if you are adding some new reactant new molecule new process then you can claim for the patent application just for the same process patent will not be granted section 3 mere de mixture and re admixtures suppose if you are a you have a two compounds compound a combi flame for use for the Antic parity activity compound B, which is used for the analgesic activity. And now you are combined both the compounds A and B, and you are saying that now this is showing a anti parity activity and analgesic activity. Can we get a patent rights on such type of things? You don't get a patent right because this is an obviousness, and your invention must have known obvious in nature and having some industrial applicability and some inventive steps. rearrangement or duplication of device cannot be filed for the patent application like for example a bucket fitted with torch an umbrella with fan a cloak and radio in single cabinet the method of agriculture and horticulture method of agriculture or horticulture as such cannot be filed for the patent application 
but the instrument used for the agriculture and horticulture can be filed for the patent application section 3i any medic any process for medical surgical curative prophylactic diagnostic therapeutic kabhi bhi aap patent rights kare ya draft kare khud aapne kabhi bhi ye nahi likhna ki the method of treatments method of treatments cannot be granted by the patent office agar aapke patent document mein method of treatment word use hua hai to aapka patent grant nahi hoga because method of treatment is not patentable as per the indian patent act but the instrument used for the surgical processes curative processes prophylactic processes that thing can be filed for the patent application but the process for the like removal of cancer tumor cannot be filed for the patent application removal of dental plaque surgical processes such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application plant and animal such and plant and animals whole as such cannot be filed for the patent but the variety of plant and uh, plant varieties can be protected by the plant and variety protection act that is a different act of the ipr section 3l literary work dramatic work musical work artistic work cinematography work aapne koi poem likhi koi gana gaya koi different type ki painting this is a subject matter of the copyright protection because maine aapko bataya teen cheeze chahiye novelty inventive step and industrial activity in this case there is a no inventive step gana gana koi invention nahi hai poem likhna koi invention nahi hai and cinematography work karna koi invention nahi hai so such type of things cannot be filed for the patent application this is subject matter of the copyright protection mental act as such mental act section 3m is not patentable like method of learning a language method of teaching method of solving a crossword puzzle is cannot be filed for the patent application but if you are developing a new type of game playing game such type of things can be filed for the patent application playing game is patentable but playing method is not patentable लाइक like, आपने कोई गेम डेवलप की उस गेम को आप पेटेंट के लिए फाइल कर सकते हैं बट डेट गेम इज यूज ओनली फॉर द प्लेइंग नॉट फॉर द गैम्बलिंग इफ इट इज यूज फॉर द गैम्बलिंग पर्पसेस देन पेटेंट विल नॉट बी ग्रांटेड एंड द मेथड ऑफ प्लेइंग द गेम इज आल्सो नॉट पेटेंटेबल सेक्शन थ्री एन स्पोकन वर्ड्स विजुअल डिस्प्ले सिंबल्स डायग्राम्स सच टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स कैन ओनली फाइल फॉर द पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन अगेन द रीजन इज सेम दिस इज नॉट एन इन्वेंशन ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज Which is already available in our public domain, like जितने भी हमारे books में लिखी हुई हैं चीजें उनको हम patent के लिए file नहीं कर सकते because it is not fulfill the criteria of novelty. और novelty नहीं है तो इसलिए इसका patent grant नहीं हो सकता because that thing is already written in the literature. Section फोर invention falling in the section ट्वेंटी वन ऑफ द टोमिक एजेक्ट आर नॉट पेटनेबल लाइक इन्वेंशन रिलेटेड टू कंपाउंड यूरियम ब्रेनियम थोरियम सच टाइप बुक्स थिंग्स कैन नॉट फाइल फॉर द पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन वेयर वी आर लैकिंग बेसिकली इन आवर कंट्री इंडिया 42,000 टू थाउजेंड पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन फाइल ईयर फाइल पर ईयर एंड एटीन नाइनटीन अप्रोक्सीमेट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड आई हैव सीन द डाटा ऑफ यू यूनिवर्सिटीज दे आर डूइंग वेरी वेल इन द फील्ड ऑफ आई पी आर लाइक टॉप टेन इंडियन एप्लीकेंट फ्रॉम पेटेंट साइंटिफिक रिसर्च एंड डेवलप सी एस आई आर टेल इंच यू डी आर डी ओ इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस दिस इज द टॉप टेन एप्लीकेंट फ्रॉम पेटेंट साइंटिफिक रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टॉप टेन एप्लीकेंट फ्रॉम अकेडमिक इंस्टीट्यूट एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक आई आई टीज ऑल द आई आई टीज कलेक्टिवली फाइल maximum patent in our country chandigarh university uh, chandigarh university till date has filed approximate 1900 patent application in which more than 1000 patent application has been published and more than 100 patent application has been granted sholni university amity university srm chandigarh group of college indian institute of science kolkata lovely professional university top 10 foreign resident applicant qualcom samsung followed by honda toyota etc Where we are lacking, still we are very far behind as compared to other countries. But this year, I hope this year our country is crossing more than one lakh patent application per year, because the government of India has reduced the fees for the educational institution, and many educational institution has filed maximum patent in our country, especially to the if we are talking about the private university and the government organization like IITs, CSIR, DRDO, they are going to file a maximum patent application in our country. This is the application filed by the Indian applicant state wise. Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu has filed half of the patent of our country. Karnataka, Delhi, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Punjab, Haryana. Haryana has 507 patent application filed. Out there, this means more than 400 patent application filed by the Indian Oil Corporation. And rest of the 100 to 150 application patent filed by the other 
institution, MSME, and large industry. This is the website of ipindia.gov.in. This software is patentable. Software as such cannot be filed for the patent application because computer program per se as such cannot be filed for the patent application. But if your computer program is connected with some hardware, then you can file for the patent application. Like if any hardware is run by any software, then you can approach for the patent application. Otherwise, it is a non patentable as per the Indian Patent Act. But in USA, software is considered as a patentable act because this, they consider as a new, useful, and non opacity nature to the software application. This is why you have software industries in the United States of America, mein maximum unki growth is there, and they have to file patent application. Ko file karte hai. But in India, they consider as a subject matter of the copyright protection. Business method. Business method of India may patently file because the rule and methods for doing a business is not regarded as an invention. If you put it for sale, it is not an invention. So, this is not a subject matter of the patent. What is the form for the patent application? Initially, you have to submit form 1, 2, 3, and form 5. Form 1 basically application from grant of patent. Form 2 is the provisional specification. Form 3 is the statement and undertaking under section 8. Form 5 basically declaration as the inventorship. Now, in the different forms, ki kya hai? because we have to initially submit four forms. Form 1 basically a simple one page application in which you have to mention applicant name, address, title of the invention, and the other details of the patent. In second, you have to submit your complete data about the patent application, like provisional or complete. Form 3 statement under section 8. Section 8 क्या होता है कि अगर आप किसी भी foreign country में patent file करते हैं, then you have, must have to inform to the government of India. So my question is to all the participants, क्या हम किसी country में बिना India Indian government की permission के patent file कर सकते हैं to outside the India? Can we submit any application outside the India without the permission of the uh, government of India? So we have to mention every information about the foreign application. Form 5 is the declaration as into inventorship. This may have a declaration in your ticket to applicant up the patent application file. Kara, who's co up as an inventor, who's co declare the Kai ki up the patent application ko submit correct. The fee structure of the patent document you have to submit only 1600 rupees for the initial patent application filing. After that, you have to submit only 2500 rupees if you want to publish your patent document immediately within one month. Even you can say within 15 days from uh, from the date of the filing of the patent application. Then you have to rupees submit 4,000 rupees for the examination. Request for examination you have to submit by form 18. This is the useful element in the patent document. Title of the invention, inventor, locant means every information given on the patent document. This is the stages of the patent document. Initially, you have to submit the provisional specification or complete specification. After 18 months, it will be automatically published at the patent office website. I have seen that many people are happy that our patent application is published. Is this patent application in any other journal that is published in any other journal? Is it equivalent to both? This was also asked for a question in the Institution Innovation Council. Who is considered to be a publication of the two? If you submit anything in the patent office, you can write it in the patent office. They will publish your patent office website. Except in three conditions. कि वो invention किसी भी secrecy direction को disclose नहीं करती. Otherwise आपका हर document patent office publish करेगा जो आपने patent के लिए file किया है. Then within 48 months में आपको request for examination file करनी पड़ेगी. अब कल एक किसी ने question पुछा कि sir क्या मैं अपना patent withdraw कर लूँ after the filing? तो मेरे ऊपर कोई action तो नहीं लेग होगा. What kind of action? ऐसा कोई action नहीं होता. That is your property. You have to full rights. Either you can file or withdraw your patent application anytime before the grant of the patent application. Then patent examiner will issue first examination report. You have to reply the first examination report. After that, your patent will be granted. And this is very important for expedited examination of expedited examination of applicant. Means कौन कौन से ऐसे लोग हैं जो अपनी patent document को fast track पे grant करवा सकते हैं? Suppose करें आप किसी other countries में patent application file कर रहे हैं और आपने India को Competent international search authority consider kiya hai, then your application is considered as a expedited examination. Agar aap startup hai, agar aap small entity hai, means if you are a, if you are having a, a certificate of Udhyam registration, issued by the micro small and medium enterprise, 
then you can submit expedited examination request or if you are a woman applicant agar aap mein sab natural persons hain applicant mein i am not talking about the inventor because the people are confused about the applicant and the inventor agar applicant mein koi bhi woman inventor hai and all are the natural person then you can request for the expedited examination then koi bhi government department kar sakta hai koi bhi government organization kar sakti hai koi bhi government फाइनेंस इंस्टीट्यूशन कर सकता है और कोई भी फॉरेन पेटेंट ऑफिस कर सकता है जो एग्रीमेंट के साथ साइन है विद दी पेटेंट ऑफिस ऑफ दी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो दीर आर फ्यू फ्यू क्राइटेरिया फॉर दी एक्सपेटेटेड एग्जामिनेशन यू हैव टू सबमिट रुपीज एट थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर्म एटीन बी एंड रूल ट्वेंटी फोर सी फॉर दी एक्सपेटेटेड एग्जामिनेशन ट्रेडमार्क ट्रेडमार्क बेसिकली ग्रांटेड फॉर साइन वर्ड्स लेटर कलर ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन रिप्रेजेंटेशन means any product which shows your identity means any product which can distinguish from one person to the another person that is called a trademark it may be any sign words letter color combination representation the duration of the trademark is unlimited time but you have to renew after every 10 years agar aapne 10 saal mein usko renew nahi karwaya then your trademark will be considered as a remove or expire there are 45 class of trademark If you want to sell any soap, machine, medicine, electronic components, then you have to register in class nine, seven, and thirty for the food items. So there are different classes for the trademark production. Market me question notice aata hai ki kripa karte hai, hamara brand ne mat istemal kijiye. Agar aapne kiya to aapke khilaf kanuni karvai ki jayegi. So these all are the example of the trademarks. How to select a trademark? That is very important to understand because most of the pharmaceutical student. एंड द एंटरप्रन आस्किंग दिस दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन अभी भी कल बहुत सारे एंटरप्रनर्स ने क्वेश्चन पूछा कि क्या हम इस तरीके का नाम रख सकते हैं लाइक इफ यू आर सीन विटामिन सी के नैनो शोर्ट्स आते हैं दे आर सींग डेट कि हम एस एच ओ टी एस की जगह एस एच ओ आर टी एस कर देते हैं सो दिस इज अगेन द केस ऑफ दी ट्रेडमार्क इन्फ्रीजमेंट एंड अभी यहाँ से ही आपके कॉलेज से पास आउट किसी स्टूडेंट ने किसी का ब्रांड नेम यूज किया उसने अपनी कंपनी स्टार्ट की एंड फॉर्म की Without the protection of the trademark, उसने market में product sell किया and Sun Pharma ने immediately उसका जो product है वो seize कर दिया और परसों उसकी Bombay High Court में case है. So be careful when you are going to select any trademark, any brand. अब आप market में सोचते हैं कि हमारा कोई कुछ नहीं बिगाड़ सकता, then it's a phobia in your mind. When the big companies are chasing to another company, then you have to, you must be in a big trouble after that. Because आपको jail भी हो सकती है और आपको penalty pay करने पड़ सकती है. और आपने जो स्टॉक मैन्युफैक्चर किया है बनवाया हुआ है वो भी आपका सारा सीज हो सकता है सो द मेन पर्पस टू अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रेडमार्क द मस्ट बी इजी टू स्पेल इजी टू प्रोनाउंस लाइक सोनी चाटा आप कुछ वर्ड अपनी तरफ से भी क्वाइन कर सकते हैं लाइक कोडेक एंड डाटा एज सच देर इज नो मीनिंग इन द डिक्शनरी कोडेक एंड डाटा बट इट इज ए क्वाइन वर्ड एंड वी विल गेट एजी रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द ट्रेडमार्क सच टाइप ऑफ वर्ड मार्क शुड नॉट बी अकॉर्डिंग टू जोग्राफिकल नेम लाइक लुधियाना स्टील चंडीगढ़ साल्ट वाराणसी साड़ी शोरूम वाराणसी शोरूम इस इस तरीके के नाम किसी भी लोकेशन के नाम पे किसी भी जगह के नाम पे किसी भी धर्म के नाम पे किसी भी गुरु के नाम पे कोई भी ट्रेडमार्क ग्रांट नहीं होता तो दिस इज द रीजन देर आर मेनी फॉर्म्स मेनी कॉलेजेस मेनी इंस्टीट्यूशन बाय द नेम ऑफ रिलीजियस सिंबल्स एंड द रिलीजियस नेम एंड देर आर मेनी फॉर्म्स बाय द नेम ऑफ जोग्राफिकल नेम्स लाइक आपने देखा होगा दिल्ली स्कूल कितने सारे हैं अब उनकी आइडेंटिफिकेशन किससे होती है जो वो लोगो यूज करते हैं नोट फॉर दी नेम समबडी आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन कि हम दिल्ली पब्लिक स्कूल नाम रख सकते हैं मैंने कहा आप दिल्ली पब्लिक स्कूल नाम रख सकते हो आप दिल्ली रखो हिमाचल रखो हरियाणा रखो नो वन कैन स्टॉप यू बट आप उस सिटी का लोगो यूज नहीं कर सकते तो दिस इज द रीजन इन आवर कंट्री मेनी स्कूल बाय द नेम ऑफ डेली पब्लिक स्कूल डी इंटरनेशनल स्कूल डी ए वी पब्लिक स्कूल बिकॉज दैट इज ऑल्सो ए नेम ऑफ दिस हम रिलीजियस सिंबल दयानंद एग्लो विश्वविद्यालय Avoid avoiding such type of words which describe the quality of the goods. Best, perfect, super, premium, gold, silver. Number one, such type of brand names cannot be granted by the trademark registry. As if you have a certificate issue, then your brand name has been suspended. This is the website of the IP India. You can also search your brand name. You have to click on the public search. You have to enter your brand name. You have to also check phonetically your brand name is. Must not be similar to the another brand name. 
Like suppose if you are searching a brand name Disprin, that you can see the Disprin has filed as many applications by the name of Disprin, Disprin X, Disprin CV. If we are talking about the surgical devices, they have applied by the different devices, OneMed, SFM, Manura system, hospital likes soon diagnostic clinic hospitals, Bulili clinic, clinic exams. We you have to submit 4500 rupees for the online filing, fees for the trademark application, 5000 rupees for the physical filing. And if you are a large entity, then you have to submit rupees 9000 rupees. And for the large uh, large entity, you have to submit by the offline mode rupees 10,000. Industrial designs. Industrial design basically granted for ornamental feature aesthetic feature. Which is Bahasa Kasi the Kaideri of the aesthetic feature home industry dent to practice there. Maybe any shape, configuration, any outer appearance of an article. So these are all are the example of the industry there. Even you can protect any type of packaging container. Agar aap dekhenge, pharmaceutical may be packaging me time to time copy developments of the Then you can develop any type of particular containers. So like which medicine at the end of air ke contamin air ke touch me anage baat contaminate ho jati hai. So aap is tiki ka kuch container develop kar sakte hai. Jo uske outer appearance ko uske uske attractiveness ka easy to open ho. Agar aapne dekha ho ka ek thyroid ki medicine at the end. This is open connect tricky method. Such type of technology is also protected by the patent right. And the method of proceeding to open the bottle is also a patentable. And the industrial design also can file for the such type of thing. So there are a lot of scope in the pharmaceutical science. If you are talking about uh, packaging containers, if you are talking about the because there are different types of packaging, primary packaging, secondary packaging, then you can protect any outer appearance of the packaging container in the pharmaceutical science also. These are the container of the pharmaceutical product. Textile jewelry means the IPR is used across in every field, not particularly to the a, in pharmaceutical. Suppose if you are doing a, some business, if you are doing a, some study, if you are uh, doing a, some job, then intellectual trade IPR plays a very important role. But is the criteria of the institution the design must be original and new? Maybe the purpose of the design is same, but the outer appearance is different. So you can protect any non technical feature of the products. So these all are the example of the industrial design. The duration of the industrial design is 15 years. Few things cannot be filed for the industrial design, like calendars, map, religious symbols, building and construction of real estate, flag, emblems, mere workshop alteration, mere change in size. Abhi aapne dekha hoga ki use mein dekha rahe ki sena apni vardi patent karai. So the newspaper wale, jo advertisement wale the people are totally misguided the public. A dress ka covers kaise patent ho sakta hai? That is not an invention. They are going to apply a trademark protection as well for the industrial design. But the people is in our country only knows about the patent rights. Isi dress ka kaise patent ho sakta hai? But the highlight is this, ki sena apni mardi ko patent karayegi. So you have to understand the basic parameter of the intellectual property rate. Agar aap ni uska subject matter different kar diya likewise, aap ho ki hum apne mokaan ka birth certificate banwayenge. It's like that. It's like that. Where we are lacking our country, India 6700 design application file, China 1.5 lakh, Korea 1.5 lakh, and Japan 75,000 design application. Egg product by multiple type PBI hyper production, like Dyson Airbed. This device is used for the hand sanitizing and hand drying. You have to insert your hand in this device and your hand is automatically sanitized and dried. The technology used in these devices is protected by the patent rights and the brand name Dyson is protected by the trademark protection and the design is protected by the industrial design and the literature for the marketing is protected by the copyright protection. Means the source of benefit is protected by the trademark protection. Story about the benefit is protected by the copyright protection and the technical benefit of this device is protected by the Patent rights means you have to multiple type of uh, protection on the single devices also. Copyright are granted for musical work, artistic work, dramatic work. Aap koi poem likhte hai, koi gana likhte hai, koi gana gata hai. Means if the, your idea is in tangible form, then you can file a patent application. As such idea cannot be filed for the patent application. This is a clear because most of the time people can file kya hum apne idea ka patent. You can lock your idea for a few months, but not for a long time. Just say, if you have a provisional specification patent, then your idea is locked for the 12 months only. But you have to submit the complete specification for that. But if you have an idea in an expression form, 
then you will get a copyright protection there is no official procedure the moment you have create your uh, work it is protected by the copyright protection you can um, also submit your patent a copyright application to the copyright registry you may also take the help of dr ashni dingra for the copyright application is very expert in the filing of the copyright application there are two type of rights moral rights and economic rights naitik adhikar and financial benefit there there, are, there is a lot of difference between the moral rights and the economic rights and when you are going to file a copyright protection you must be aware about who is the applicant in the copyright protection likewise in the patent application jaise hame patent mein pata lagta hai ki humne applicant kon hai inventor kon hai similarly likewise copyright mein bhi you must be aware about the applicant and the author because the rights belongs to the author so if you are working some institution like guru gobind singh college of pharmacy और यहाँ पर आप कोई फार्मेसी किताब लिखते हैं द राइट गोज टू द गुरु गोविंद सिंह कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी नोट टू दर बिकॉज जो आपने काम किया वहां पर रिसर्च की किताब लिखी दैट द राइट बिलोंग्स टू दॉलेज बिकॉज दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग रिसोर्सिस रेमोरेशन एंड अदर सोर्सिस सो दिस इज अबाउट दी और डिपेंड्स ऑन दॉलिसी ऑफ दॉलेज ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी यूजिंग समवन एल्स कॉपीराइट इज ए क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस एज वेल एज द सिविल ऑफेंस दिस इज अबाउट द फेयर यूज As per the copyright section 153A, fair use you can use any type of this uh, material for the research purposes, review purposes, criticism purposes, education purposes. कोई भी किताब को आप पढ़ सकते हैं for the education purposes that is not a crime. Criticism purposes के लिए भी पढ़ सकते हैं आप criticize भी कर सकते हैं उसको criticize करने के लिए एक और किताब भी लिख दीजिए आप but the content is not same. But the criticism is given there then there is no problem. Review कर सकते हैं review के लिए आप आपका अपना नोट लिख सकते हैं उसके ऊपर आपने देखोगा बहुत सारी मूवीज के रिव्यूज आते हैं आइदर इट इज ए पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव दैट डजन डिपेंड बट एक रिव्यू भी दे सकते हैं बिकॉज दैट इज अलाउड फॉर द फेयर यूज रिसर्च पर्पसेस के लिए यूज किया जाता है जोग्राफिकल बेसिकली ग्रांटेड फॉर थ्री थिंग्स नेचुरल गुड्स एग्रीकल्चर गुड्स मैन्युफैक्चर गुड्स कोई चीज कहाँ की क्या फेमस है उसको हम एग्रीकल्चर जोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन को प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते हैं लाइक like बासमती राइस मसूर मैसूर सेंडल वुड जोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन कभी भी किसी एक व्यक्ति को नहीं मिलता लाइक हमने आप पेटेंट पढ़ा ट्रेडमार्क पढ़ा कॉपी पढ़ा राइट्स कोस टू एनी सिंगल पर्सन ऑल्सो बट इन द केस ऑफ जोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन राइट्स कोस टू द सोसाइटी राइट्स कोस टू द ग्रुप ऑफ क्लस्टर्स ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सन नो टू दी सिंगल पर्सन लाइक वाइज दार्जिलिंग टी कोई एक व्यक्ति नहीं ले सकता दार्जिलिंग टी वहाँ पर जितने भी दार्जिलिंग में लोग हैं जो मैनुफेक्चर है नॉट फॉर द ट्रेडर्स दे कैन राइट फॉर द दार्जिलिंग टी बट दे हैव टू अप्लाई फॉर द जोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन they have to prove that they are uh, manufacturing the same type of quality trademark does not represent the quality but geographical indication protects the quality because aapka parameter usko manufacture karne ka same hona chahiye there is a one organization world intellectual property organization they are providing free diplomas you can also apply for this diploma there is a one organization department of science and technology wsc in which they are going to train 120 women in the field of ipr you can also take help of this type of training for the motivation of your career and your field thank you so much if you have any question you are free to ask me
बैठ जाए एक मिनट के थैंक यू वेरी मच सर नाउ इफ एनी ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स और फैकल्टी मेंबर्स इफ हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस यू मे आस्क एनी ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स और फैकल्टी मेंबर यू कैन आल्सो राइट इन द चैट बॉक्स sir there is one question from my side that uh, if we file a provisional application for any of the patent uh, what is the time duration up to we can submit the actual data dr rahul arvin sir if we have filed any provisional application Wait. Yes, ma'am. Can you please repeat your question? Sir, like uh, we don't have the all of the data about our patent right now, and we have filed just provisional application. What is the duration up to which we can submit the data? Maximum. Duration? You have a time time of twelve months. But you can extend for six months extra by paying a late fees, rupees four hundred eighty rupees. Four hundred. And this is my request to all the student of Master of Pharmacy. You can submit your provisional specification. जैसे ही आपका literature survey complete होता है, you can submit your patent application. You have to submit only sixteen hundred rupees. सोलह सौ रुपए pay करके आपको patent document मिलेगा. Patent आप submit कर देंगे. After that, you have to submit request for examination. You have to submit four thousand rupees. मीन्स यू कैन से कि छप्पन सौ रुपये में फिफ्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज में आपको एक पेटेंट ऑफिसर आपके रिसर्च को इवेल्यूशन करके देगा वट इज द लेवल ऑफ यूर रिसर्च वट इज द नोवेल्टी ऑफ यूर रिसर्च वट इज द इन्वेंटिव स्टेप इन यूर रिसर्च वो कैसे हेल्प करेगी दिस इज माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन वो कैसे हेल्प करेगी सपोज अगर आप आगे पी एच डी करते हैं या अगर आप किसी को पी एच डी करवाते हैं रिसर्च वर्क में तो आपको पूरे वर्ल्ड के अंदर उसकी कहाँ तक रिसर्च हो गई है उसकी मैक्सिमम रेंज तक आपको एक डाटा प्रोवाइड हो जाएगा so this is very easy means आप next जो patent file करेंगे वो उसमें आपके chances grant होने के ज्यादा हो जाएंगे so this is the way to get a patent application easily so you can submit if you have a टेन students in your master of pharmacy then you can submit provisional specification of all the टेन students okay thank you very much sir. now uh, i will request dr ashmi thingra to please give vote of thanks to sir please sir good afternoon everyone with due respect i would like to express my sincere thanks towards our worthy speaker and one of our prominent alumni dr rahul taneja for sharing his valuable talk on the topic of intellectual property right dr taneja i think is a synonym of ipr and has wonderfully discussed various aspects of ipr including copyright patent design and specially new patent policy towards the theory discovery innovation as well as the invention in pharmaceutical research and in the protection of intellectual so it was very informative session and uh, i think uh, the lecture delivered by dr taneja provide a fruitful insight which will benefit for the all participant and encourage them to do more and more uh, research in and uh, which outcome in terms of patent Uh, at last a big thanks to dr rahul taneja uh, for your efforts in the field of intellectual property right thank you sir thank you very much thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you sir and thanks to all